as as you may uh, uh, recall, we we actually used to call name coracal cancer coracal cancer, which uh, uh, very much uh, I think now I think is a wrong name, because uh, over the year we start to realize that um, coracal cancer is not one disease; is actually a different uh, a disease, and you can very much divide it into subgroup of uh, of cancer, and. Um, it's based on the biology. And uh, the reason that's important because uh, the biology is different. And also now uh, we have different treatment options that we can uh, use against uh, each subgroup. And uh, one of the very important subgroup of, uh, of coracal cancer is what we call it MSI high tumor or um, mismatch repair deficient uh, tumor. And uh, that's obviously a very important subgroup because of uh, the role of immunotherapy uh, in the metastatic setting. Uh, we know now that uh, this tumor respond, most of them respond very well to a checkpoint in health. But uh, among those uh, MSI high or mismatch repair deficient uh, uh, cortical cancer tumor, there is subgroup uh, who also carry PRAF uh, B600E mutation. So you have both coexistence of uh, MSI high and plus PRAF um, 600E. And again, that's important because for PRAF 600E, now we have target therapy we can use against those tumor, uh, which are anti-EGFR plus anti-PRAF or PRAF inhibitor uh, drugs. So the, uh, the question in our mind uh, was how um, PRAF 600E MSI high tumor compared to uh, PRAF wild type MSI high tumor in terms of immune microenvironment, trying to figure out if they are the same or different and try to see if there's any hint um, that perhaps uh, one may respond or, uh, to immunotherapy or maybe more immunogenic than the other. So in, in this study, we looked um, uh, almost uh, at uh, 459 patients uh, or or, uh, with tumor, with coracal cancer. All of them had MSI high or DMMR tumor. So all, all tumor were MSI highs. And the PRF status, uh, BRAF mutation status was also known. Uh, all this tumor were also uh, RAS wild type. So what, uh, at the end, what we found that was about 336 uh, tumor were MSI high, PRAF wild type, but were about uh, 123 uh, tumor that were uh, MSI high and BRAF mutant, which was very much the, the area, uh, the cohort one I'll focus on. So in terms of uh, uh, clinical characteristic, I, I think it, it was, uh, in terms of clinical characteristic, uh, in the PRAF mutant uh, cohort, the median age was about uh, 76, which was older than uh, the group with PRAF wild type, uh, which was about 62. And also 84% of patients uh, were women in the PRAF mutation group. And uh, the first observation, we were able to see that the co-mutation, the mutation that happen with PRAF mutation uh, B600E, a little bit different from those with wild type, uh, particularly in MSH6, uh, P2M, ATM, and MSH2 were more frequently seen in PRAF mutated MSI high tumor compared to those PRAF wild type MSI high tumor. But when we looked at the TMB high, which in, in our cohort was defined at, uh, at level of 10, uh, actually 100%, like all of the PRAF mutant MSI high tumor carried uh, high TMB, uh, while 95% uh, of the PRAF wild type carried um, high TMB. So yes, majority of them, but like not 100% like uh, the mutated arm. But the um, uh, new antigen mutation burden was the same in both groups, 
was about 15 exactly in the graph wild type and 15 in the, um, uh, in the graph mutated uh, group. And when we looked at the microenvironment, the immune microenvironment of, uh, and compared the graph mutant versus graph wild type, uh, uh, the natural the proportion of uh, natural killer cells was significantly higher in the graph mutated cohort uh, was I think 20%, 21% versus 15%. But there was, there was no difference or no significant difference observed uh, in, the, in terms of CD4 uh, and CD, uh, CD8 uh, expression. CD4 and CD8 uh, expression uh, was no difference. And then also we observed that uh, uh, the, the cancer st stem cell pathway was significantly down-regulated in the PRAF mutated uh, uh, tumor. On the other hand, there was significant upregulation of five pathways uh, that was actually associated with the uh, growth and metabolic uh, reprogramming of PRAF mutated. And uh, when we looked at the GNZ analysis of uh, conchordial immune pathways, uh, there was limited difference in the tumor uh, inflammation between PRAF mutant and PRAF wild type MSI high cohort. So, I think is a big picture that we were able to observe that it appears that uh, among those tumor with MSI high status, uh, whether uh, they carry PRAF mutation or they have the wild type status, there is no significant difference in the immune microenvironment, and which is, uh, suggests that both of them should be equally uh, sensitive and equally response. Uh, respond to a checkpoint inhibitor. And this was very much what was seen in the checkmate 177 when they did the first plot analysis, subgroup analysis, and they found that both wild type and mutant, mutant tumor in terms of PRAF was, was uh, very much on the, that side of the graph, uh, indicating that both response. This was a different story from what we actually observed within the RAS mutation. So as you know, like uh, about 50% of uh, colorectal cancer tumors, they, they carry KRAS or RAS uh, mutation. And uh, we did very much the same analysis on, on, on a similar group with MSI high uh, tumor and with uh, looking at KRAS um, mutant versus KRAS wild type. And uh, the new engine mutation burden was uh, significantly higher in the, in the RAS wild tumor compared to those with RAS mutant tumor was 16 compared to 12. So it was a difference and this was statistically significant. But uh, there was no difference in actually in the TM, TMB high status among RAS mutant, RAS wild type, MSI high tumor. And there was also some suggestion that uh, the tumor inflammation was down regulated in the RAS mutant uh, tumor compared to RAS wild type. And uh, the, the important, this is important because it, yes, uh, it appears that uh, MSI high tumors that carry also KRAS mutation, yes, they do respond to uh, to checkpoint inhibitor, but at least from our uh, our our data, it appears that perhaps uh, ras wild uh, ras wild tumor MSI high uh, have more immunogenic phenomena compared to those ras uh, ras mutation. So ras mutated uh, tumor still respond to immunotherapy, but sound like the immune microenvironment is not as uh, um, as uh, those one was um, was uh, grass wild type. I think this is was very exciting, but this is very much is a, is a scratch of the surface of what we really need to to learn about uh, this disease and how can one continue to better understand the biology and differences among those those tumor, but also more importantly try to come up with uh, with, with uh, the therapy to target 
each each subgroup of uh, uh, of patient and avoid and overcome the uh, primary and secondary resistance. Mm -hmm.